Hey people, a little early morning test here. I've got the 8XX on my head, sticker modded, and I had a friend of the channel loan me an 800S. So I'm trying to compare them and let me show you what the setup is so you understand exactly what's going on. Okay, so we're running both of them out of the Mojo 2 right now. I am doing some comparisons between the one and the two, so that'll be a video coming here as well. I've got a 3.5 to quarter inch adapter, the same one, and I've got stock Sennheiser cables going to each one. So it should be a pretty darn fair fight here to decide whether or not these headphones sound the same after the sticker mod has been done or not. And after, you know, a good little chunk of listening here, there definitely is a difference. My perception is that the 800S has just like a little bit more forward, a little bit cleaner, maybe has just a touch more bass. Um, it's just a little bit louder too. So there's definitely some differences there, but they are not very large differences. I swapped on my 8XX uh, back from the Geekria leather pads to stock pads, and that made way more difference in the sound. Um, from these with the pad swap than the difference between the 8XX and the 800S. I do still, however, have one sticker in my 8XX and I think I'm gonna take it out and just see what happens. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the, uh, you know, removal of the pads and the little inner screen there so we can get in to the headphone you can see my stickers there now i i was just kind of just like you'd remove any sticker i just got my fingernail in there and was working at it i mean they are there's some pretty significant adhesive on there and so it's like fabric with a little bit of adhesive on it but you can see i got it out of there the the fabric is actually super super thin um so i just slow going you know um i didn't have any issues with it ripping when i pulled it out i was also pulling really carefully so um you know here's just me doing the other one again nothing special that one came out a little bit easier again just a little clear piece of fabric in there and so um i had decided to try goo gone to remove it uh it seems to work good for me in the past I'd say the name of the game here is just don't overdo it. Uh, even I probably started with too much. Um, I just kind of squeezed a little blob on there and then used a Q-tip to move it around. And uh, then I tried to remove some of the excess from the one side and use that to just kind of paint it on the other. So I, again, no special process here. Just don't do too much. and. You know, I was just trying to make sure I had all the adhesive just covered with at least a thin layer of Goo Gone on it. And then this is just me going to work on these things with my fingernail. Um, so I would kind of scrape with my fingernail and then I would use a paper towel and wipe it. Scrape with my fingernail, use a paper towel, wipe it. Um, and then I would maybe paint on a little more Goo Gone onto the adhesive if, if I had some spots that were still there. It is, uh, I'm showing you here, it is wire mesh, actually, those kind of grills. So some of the Goo Gone was kind of seeping through to the other side, but I mean, it ended up just wiping clean, um, you know, just fine after I was all said and done with it. So I had to go through several iterations of this, just Goo Gone, fingernail scrape, wipe off. But you can see, I eventually I was quite pleased with how well the adhesive came off it. Maybe I didn't get 100% of it, um, but it was pretty good. And then I just took some 70% alcohol here and I just dabbed a paper towel with it. Um, again, not too much, but just enough. And I clean both the inside and out and that gets that goo gone greasy residue out of there uh, fairly well. And you can see these are pretty clean looking. And this is exactly what an 800S looks like on the inside. Um, no stickers or anything like that. So I, I not too difficult. It may be, you know, a few minutes per sticker probably five minutes per sticker maybe is what it would take and then I just button it back up here okay so sticker removed it really wasn't that tough um, you know just a little, a little goo gone a little fingernail scraping and then some good cleaning with some rubbing alcohol I don't know you saw that all uh, take place it took maybe 10 minutes to do that right of course I was only removing the last sticker so multiply that by 
you know, however many stickers you're doing in each headphone. But now the real test is we will see if that uh, makes them just the same. It is so damn close. Um, there might be a small difference there. I gotta listen some more. I can't definitively say so with just this one song though. So let me do some more listen. I'll come back, I'll update. All right, so after, I mean, I don't know. I've been going back and forth. It's probably been a dozen songs or so that I'm, I'm going back and forth between the 8XX, fully stickers removed and the 800S. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't swear that there's no difference, but it is so minor that, I mean, boy, you'd have you you'd have to have some pretty phenomenal ears, I think, to be able to pick them out in a blind test for sure. Whereas with the sticker in there, I think I maybe could have picked it out uh, before with that one sticker in there, but I don't think I could at this point. So. Um, I think I put all the effort into this that I'm going to. I think it's pretty darn safe to say that if you want to pick up an 8XX and remove the stickers, it's not that difficult of a process. And I think it's very, very safe to say that you're getting at least 95% of an 800S, if not the exact same thing. So I think it's a heck of a bargain still. And, uh... You know, if you can buy an 8XX for $700 or less, I think you're getting yourself a, a very nice headphone um, at a very, very good price. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. I just, I just forgot. It slipped my mind. I'm just thinking I better send a thank you out to Stegs for supplying the 800S for testing. I appreciate that very much. And, uh, you know, I hope it helps people out. So thanks, Stegs. See you guys.